happy Saturday everyone so uh, a couple of years ago I had a problem with the Jeep here and okay so when you drove the car um, the uh, you would see like the uh, ABS traction BAS ESP and all these lights come on on the dash and randomly off and on and then when they were on sometimes you step on the brake and the anti-lock brakes are kicking in even though it's completely dry out so it was the code was to the right front wheel sensor it was actually also causing the engine to like act like it was misfiring and cutting out so it's one of my previous videos I'll link to it but what I found was uh, the clips were not in this work was done at a dealer the clips were not in and the wire was rubbing against the back side of the wheel and it it, it uh, scraped through the insulation so anyway that day a couple of years ago I taped it up and everything was good for a long time until just recently started having the same problems again not with the engine cutting out but with the all the lights coming on on the dash and the ABS kicking in when it was not needed so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this sensor which comes with the new wire and everything and hope that that's it I don't know what else could be happening here I mean this hub is a replacement hub which was done several years ago so who knows what's going on but I'm gonna try with this new uh, sensor first before I have to get deeper into this hub so you know there's like a little access slot here I tried to get it from the back but I could not get this the, uh, the hold down screw out so took off the brakes the caliper the rotor and then you know can easily get to the screw so now I'm gonna pull this out and uh, Yes, yeah, so basically just undo all these clamps. Here's the connector, plug the new one in, and we'll test it out and see what happens. See if that is the cause of the problem or, or not. New sensor in, still got all the lights. I'm gonna try clearing the code. Not sure if that's necessary or uh, Right front wheel speed sensor. codes okay let's see what happens cleared out the codes uh, lights are off for now but you know as this is an intermittent problem just have to put some miles on it and uh, see what happens Maybe it just needed a clear. Don't know, we'll see. So the other complaint from the customer, AKA the wife that I had was uh, when she was stopping and starting the car, there was a clunking noise coming from the back. So I thought maybe it could have been the, uh, the spare tire because the full size spare mounted under the back, but that was tight. Uh, that loosens itself up from time to time. What I did find above the muffler is a little heat shield and uh, it was kind of hanging down, touching the muffler. So maybe that was the noise. Nah, I still hear the noise. Anyway, 
I put a washer and a nut to get the heat shield back up, but I'm still getting a little bit of a clunk from the back. So I'm gonna check, see what's going on in the, in the back hatch area. Something in there. It's funny because it seems like it's, it's still there, but not as loud as it was before. <clears throat> Maybe it could be these sticks rolling around. We'll see. Oh no. That noise is still loud and clear back there. Check something else. The spare tire jack and these tools were kind of loose in here. So uh, I put the strap back and kind of wedged everything in here. Hopefully that'll take care of the clunk. Otherwise, I have no idea what it is. One, one other issue is when you're riding highway speed with this car, uh, you're getting like a hum, we're getting like a humming noise coming from the drivetrain. When you're coasting, it kind of goes away. So I checked, um, I went under and there's a little plug uh, for the gear oil on the rear differential. So I pulled that out and it was a little bit low. Usually it's filled right to the bottom of the hole. So it wasn't too much. So I put, I put some gear oil in there and uh, I don't have a, Next time I get a chance, we'll get it on the highway, see if it makes any difference. I doubt it. It's probably just some bearings wearing out. I mean, the car is pretty old. It's got almost 160,000 now. So, you know, it could be some bearings going bad in the rear axle assembly or somewhere else, who knows. Anyway, that's gonna wrap this one up for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Nowhere Fast Garage.